Number 11. Beer. Wojtek was a Syrian brown beer, which was bought as a cup in 1942 by Polish two corps soldiers stationed in Iran. Wojtek soon became an integral part of the unit. He reportedly enjoyed eating cigarettes, drinking beer and wrestling with the soldiers. He was taught to salute and would march alongside the troops on his hind legs. Wojtek traveled with the 22nd Artillery Supply Company to Iraq, Syria, Palestine and Egypt. When the company moved to Italy, Wojtek was officially drafted into the Polish army to get around transportation regulations. He was given the rank of private. During the Battle of Monte Cassino, the bear would carry and stack crates of artillery shells that would have taken four men to lift. It's said that he never dropped a crate. There's at least one account of a British soldier witnessing the bear transport ammo. In the aftermath, a bear carrying an artillery shell became the official emblem of the 22nd Company. Wojtek was ultimately promoted to the rank of corporal and after the war ended in 1945, he found a home at the Edinburgh Zoo. Number 10. Pigeon Homing pigeons have been used to deliver wartime messages ever since Egypt, around the year 3000 BC. The homing pigeon, usually a derivative of the rock dove, has an outstanding sense of orientation and is believed to rely on magnetoreception in order to return to its home coop. They can fly at up to 100 miles per hour and for distances of 1100 miles. These creatures were used to deliver vital messages during both world wars. It was a dangerous mission as the enemy was constantly trying to shoot them down. One pigeon nicknamed the Mocker reportedly flew over 52 times before he was wounded. Number 9. Cat Cats have been used in warfare since ancient times. At the Battle of Pelusium in 525 BC, the Achaemenid Empire used them in the front line as a form of psychological warfare against the Egyptians, knowing they'd avoid harming them due to religious beliefs. During the late 1940s, a cat named Simon found a home aboard the warship HMS Amethyst. While traveling up the Yangtze River, the ship took fire from a Chinese field gun battery. One of the rounds severely wounded Simon. He was treated but with four pieces of shrapnel embedded in his body wasn't expected to last the night. Not only did Simon recover but proved his worth on the ship. While anchored in the Yangtze, rats had all but taken over the ship. Simon vigorously removed them rousing sailor's morale in the process. He became a national hero and to this day is the only cat to have been awarded the Dickin Medal, the most prestigious decoration that can be awarded to animals. Simon also received the Blue Cross and the rank of Able Sea Cat. Number 8. Bat Prior to the development of the atom bomb, a US dental surgeon named Lytle S. Adams designed a bat bomb to be dropped on Japanese cities. It was approved by the government and entered a developmental phase. The working principle was for about a thousand hibernating Mexican free-tailed bats to be placed in compartments inside a bomb-shaped casing. They'd each have attached to them a small incendiary bomb with a timer. As the casing parachuted down, it would open and release the bats. They'd fly and roost undetected in the attics and eaves of Japanese homes, which at the time were largely made out of wooden paper. When the bomb was triggered, the bats would catch fire and start a fast-spreading blaze. The bomb was tested in Utah on a mock-up of a Japanese city. Even though it had proven effective, progress was too slow and the plan was overtaken by the nuclear option. Nevertheless, Adams maintained that his bat-based device would have brought the country to its knees while sparing its population the horrors of the atom bomb. Number 7. Dolphin Dolphins are highly trainable and extremely intelligent, traits which are indispensable as a military animal. They've been trained by Russian and American armed forces to detect underwater mines or to rescue trapped divers. However, there's speculation that dolphins haven't been used solely for detection. Some of the suspected applications include kamikaze-style attacks on enemy vessels or radar jamming. There were rumors circulating during the Vietnam War that the US Navy was conditioning dolphins to kill enemy divers. Still, the Navy denied ever training their dolphins to harm humans. Number 6. Snake Hannibal is regarded as one of history's top military strategists. For years, the brilliant Carthaginian general's forces stood against the overwhelming might of the Roman Republic. One particularly devious tactic stands as a testament to Hannibal's strategic mind. 
In one of the lesser-known battles of his career, Hannibal directed a naval fleet against the forces of Pergamon, a city-state allied with Rome. The general was facing overwhelming numbers, so he had his soldiers collect venomous snakes and store them in clay pots aboard the ships. The pots were small enough to be handled by one man and held cobras, crates, fertilance, and death adders. When the enemy was within range, Hannibal's soldiers launched the snake pots at the hulls of their vessels. Panic ensued as soldiers struggled to avoid the enraged venomous reptiles slithering at their feet. The venomous bites they sustained, combined with the attacks from Hannibal's fleet, brought a bitter defeat to the Pergamonites' superior forces. Number 5. Elephant While using snakes as a form of biological warfare was ingenious, the military animals that would help immortalize Hannibal were actually elephants. In an unprecedented and unexpected move, Hannibal crossed the Alps and brought the war to Rome. Aiding him in his daring campaign was a legion of African elephants. Even though only a few of the beasts survived the harsh mountain environment, Hannibal would go on to win a number of successive major victories. The use of elephants in warfare is believed to have originated in ancient India. Their main role was to charge through enemy lines, wreak havoc, and strike terror into enemy ranks. They'd sometimes be given their own armor, designed to protect the legs and body while leaving their trunks free to attack the enemy. Heavy iron chains with steel balls were sometimes tied to the trunk, which the elephants could swing and cause a great amount of destruction. Swords or spikes would sometimes be fitted to their trunks. The animals carried warriors on their backs and larger beasts could carry an entire protective tower called a howdah. Their use declined as firearms gained widespread use. Number 4. Eagle Both French and Dutch military forces have been trained in eagles to capture or take down rogue drones. Falconry, the practice of hunting by using birds of prey, was first reported in Mesopotamia around the year 2000 BC. With advancements in technology, this ancient practice can be modified to suit the requirements of modern warfare. Virtually anyone can buy a drone and fit it with surveillance devices and even small explosives. While eagles aren't capable of tackling large predator-style drones, they've proven effective against smaller ones that might be used to infiltrate airports or military bases. Golden eagles can spot a drone several thousand yards away and can neutralize the device using their powerful claws. To prepare them for the mission, they're kept on drones after they hatch and during their early feeding period. Number 3. Dog The dog, humanity's first and most celebrated animal companion, has senses and skills which have been extensively used in warfare. The earliest record of battle dogs comes from the 7th century BC, when they were used to break enemy ranks in a war between two Greek cities. In ancient times, large breeds like the Mastiff or the Molossian were equipped with armor and spiked collars and sent into battle. As Spanish conquistadors began their campaign in Latin America, they used the launce against native warriors. In World War II, the Soviets fitted dogs with mines and trained them to run under enemy tanks. Throughout history's wars, dogs weren't only used for fighting but also as scouts, for communication, tracking, or as sentries. They were also major morale boosters for the troops. Breeds like the German Shepherd, Belgian Malinois, or Dutch Shepherd are still used today by various branches of the world's military or law enforcement organizations. Today's topic was inspired by Kids Gone Calves. If you have any other topics that you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Monkey While the world's military forces are probably a long way from implementing a division of sniper monkeys, these animals have been used in battle before. One notable occurrence was in middle-aged China at the time of the Southern Song Dynasty. During the conflict between the Imperial Army and rebels in the Yanzhou province, monkeys were used as live incendiary devices. They were clothed in straw and doused with oil. Afterwards, they were set ablaze and released on an enemy camp, igniting their tents and causing chaos. In the 1970s, the US Air Force experimented with a tamer version of monkey-based warfare called Paisley Print Task 1. It involved strapping an electrode vest to a rhesus macaque that would then be sent into danger zones. It would be remote controlled by an operator who would shock the monkey if it veered off course. Surveillance equipment, explosives or supplies could thus be strapped to the macaque as it went behind enemy lines. Before we move on, official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. 
it's out of this world. Number 1. Horse Throughout history since before the year 5000 BC, horses have been an inseparable warfare component. Entire empires were quite literally built on the backs of these animals. For example, the mounted archers of the Mongolian steep were so skilled that under Genghis Khan and his successors, they contributed towards forming the largest contiguous land empire ever seen. Armored horses carried their riders into battle as part of cavalry units, which for centuries were Europe's most celebrated combat division. They could pull heavy wagons and with the invention of gunpowder, cannons and artillery weapons. Even military culture had great respect for the horse, often regarded as a warrior's most trustworthy companion. Alexander the Great was so appreciative of his war horse, Bucephalus, that he named a city in his honor. There's a legend that Roman Emperor Caligula tried to make his horse a council while the skeleton of Napoleon's horse, Marengo, can still be seen at the National Army Museum in London. Thanks for watching. Which animals do you think would be best suited for war if a conflict broke out in your country or state? Let us know in the comments section below.